Good morning, Libra, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utanaya, and today I will be doing a reading for you for the week of April the 14th to the 20th, 2024. <clears throat> okay, so I have already cut your decks and I have shuffled your cards eight times using the numerology of the date April 14th, 2024. Uh, so let's dive right in. Now this week we do have the sun entering Taurus on Friday and then we do have Jupiter and Uranus going conjunct on Saturday. So if you're interested in that energy that and what that brings for you, definitely check out that video in my channel. Okay, so the first card we have today <clears throat> is the Nine of Cups. This card has been coming up for uh, quite a few signs. It is a sign of basking in the energy that you would like to bring in for you. Okay, it is a card of contentment, of uh, spiritual enlightenment, uh, happy emotions. Okay, so this gentleman is made to look like he is definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is kind of weird. He has definitely not been lacking in the food area. He's definitely satiated. He has been enjoying libations. He's feeling good. Okay, and then we know the Ten of Cups that comes after this is a card of spiritual happiness, uh, fulfillment, overflowing emotions, happiness, everything that you want in life. Okay. So if you're working towards uh, obtaining happiness and spiritual contentment and overflowing and abundance and happiness and good feelings, um, you're being encouraged to remember that the energy, I mean, the, the universe matches the energy that you put out to it, okay? So if you are basking in the energy of what you want to become, it's not like faking it till you make it, but it's similar in concept, okay? Be, step into the energy of who you want to be. And uh, like, so how does a person that you'd like to be walk? How does a person that you're trying to be talk? Be that person now. Start emulating the energy of what it is that you want to become, okay? So if you want to be in a relationship, take yourself out on dates, show yourself self-love, talk to yourself in a manner that shows that you care for yourself and that you love for yourself. If you want to be a millionaire or a billionaire or a trillionaire, what do these people do? Okay, start driving around neighborhoods that um, these people live in or where you want to live. Start dressing as the person that you are to become. Be, step into that energy, okay? And be mindful of the words that you're talking and putting out into the universe. Words are spells and they're vibrational frequencies that we put out into the universe. And the universe hears it. So if you're talking from a place of lack all the time, I need to be mindful of this all the time. I'm currently in a transitional phase. I have, I'm, I've, I've embarked on an entrepreneurial endeavor that has started in February and things are a little bit tight right now. Okay. So instead of saying, you know, I don't have money for that, or, you know, I have, I am very mindful in how I communicate that I have other priorities and other things that I'm spending money on. So this is how you, you're being mindful of not talking in from a, from a framework of lack. Okay. Because if you keep speaking like that, the universe is going to give you more of that. If you're saying nothing ever works out for me, I'm not good. You know, I'll, I'll probably not get this job because someone else is better than me. Uh, I'm sick all the time. I'm always in pain. Um, I'm never going to move. You know, like th you're just going to get more of that because you're, you're lowering your vibrational frequency and you're manifest and you're putting it out into the world as a spell and it's manifesting it because it like attracts like, but if you're conscious, like start being mindful and living, uh, being intentional with everything that you do with your words, with your actions, everything what you wear because the the universe is going to bring more of that 
So instead of saying, I don't have enough money for that, or I can't afford that, you're saying, I currently have other things that I'm using my money for. Something like that, okay? Because that is not bringing your vibration down. It, it's, it's being mindful of how you're communicating things. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we have the Hierophant. Okay, or the Pope. Okay, so this has been coming up as a lot as well. This is a card of Taurus. Okay, so the sun is entering Taurus on the Friday of this week. Okay, and so we could be seeing a change in perhaps the energy. And Jupiter and Uranus are conjunct in Taurus as well this week. So it's about money, finances, food, agriculture, beauty, farming, banking. Okay. So when we're taking it with this card and we're basking in the energy of what we want to become, we're stepping into that energy being mindful of what we say and how we act and what we do and having intent, being intentional with everything that we do during the day. This is going to allow us for the opportunity to receive our blessings that the universe is having for you, my dear Libra. Okay, on a normal Rider weight deck, the Pope is bestowing blessings onto two initiates. Okay, perhaps you've been going through a dark night of soul. Perhaps you're going through some sort of transformatory process. And now you're, you're being in charge of your life. You're, you're, you're leading with intention. And now your blessings are coming in. The, what you have been attracting with your vibrational frequency is now being returned through blessings. Okay, you're going to see this with this Taurus energy coming in. And you're going to be leveling up. There's a lot of energy about leveling up, bossing up. On the normal Rider Waite deck, the, the Pope, he has a crown or like one of those Pope things that has three levels on it, okay? And the bottom is the novice and the middle level is the apprentice and then the third one is the master. So you are leveling up in respects to some sort of area in your life perhaps revolving around money or income, considering this is Taurus, or stability, bringing more stability into your life. Okay? So can, can so this is the nine of, of cups as well. Perhaps you are also leveling up in areas of spiritual development. The Pope or the Hierophant is the intermediary between the gods and the earth. And so perhaps you are leveling up in with, with respect to some sort of spiritual gifts, talents, and abilities because of the work that you have been doing on yourself. Okay? Then we have the Seven of Spears. So the seven of spears can indicate um, needing to be per, uh, persevere, like needing to persevere through something, to keep going, okay? If you've been trying to get to a certain place in life, okay, you're stepping to the energy, whatever it is that you're working on, you're being... You know inside of your heart that you know you know you're going to attain it, right? It's that belief in yourself that is helping you manifest the life that you want and that you already have. You already have it and you're stepping in, you're aligning into the energy, into the frequency of the abundance that you are pulling in towards yourself. And this card indicates when you know you know that's when you're going to be successful. When you know you know what's going, you're, how you, this is going to result in. Okay? And you're being encouraged to keep pushing through this. Keep persevering. You are being strategic and you're positioning yourself to, um, to, to, to strike at the right time and the right moment. 
Okay, so be aware of opportunities that are going to be making themselves known to you. Position yourself in the in a in a position <laughs> that you can strike when the when the time is right. I don't know what that might look different for every one of you because this is a general reading, but there are going to be opportunities coming up for you that are going to lead you to level up and to align yourself into position yourself into getting to where you want to go. I hope that makes sense. Okay, with the Nine of Cups, we have the Protective Nest. This is crazy. This has been coming up for like every sign. So <clears throat> we have that with this card here, okay? And so what I'm getting it from here is that because we're talking about aligning yourself and speaking in, and, and living life and every aspect of your life with intention um, and being mindful of your words and your thoughts, even your thoughts matter too, okay? So your cells think you're one with the universe and your cells are all, it's all connected, okay? So you need to be mindful of your thoughts here. And so we're going to be start, you're being encouraged, my dear Libra, to um, organize your thoughts and in order to protect your future here. It's like your nest egg. So you're being mindful of your thoughts and your intentions and you're living intentionally and organizing any chaos into some sort of organized structure that is going to protect what you've been working on. So it's going to be keeping you in alignment because you are living with intention. This is organized, intentional chaos, okay? And it's protecting the eggs there. When you look at a nest, might look like it's just a bunch of twigs and hay and fabric and whatnot. But it is it's woven intricately and it serves a purpose. So utilize that intention of having intention going forward to save the stability and to protect where you what you want for your future, these eggs. So start coming from a place of intention and high frequency and step into the energy of what you want to become. With the Hierophant, we have day and night. <laughs> this is always, this is coming up again. I've shuffled these decks, like that we're using the numerology and these come up. For, so this is the energy that's coming up. So this, I got told that I look like this person uh, in the comments. So that's interesting. Um, so th this is with the Hierophant. And so perhaps the blessings that are coming in for you this week are, might be, you might have one day where you are in a situation and then the next day you're, it's going to be completely different. Okay. And perhaps with, if with respects to it being a spiritual and uh, spiritual abilities that are developing, perhaps you're being asked to pay attention to your dreams at night. Okay. Th these are sticking out to me right now, like antenna. And that's, I haven't picked up on that one before. So perhaps you are being encouraged to uh, pay attention to your dreams and uh, your daydreams as well. And any, uh, in your intuition can be quite uh, high and in tune, right? If these are antennas. Perhaps your psychic abilities are developing your intuition, your clairvoyance, your, cleanse, your clairsentience, your clairaudience, perhaps some telepathy going on here. Okay, so pay attention to signs in the day and in the night in your dreams and symbology because he's the intermediary between the gods and the earth. Okay, so perhaps there is some information the universe is trying to share with you and you need to be able to pick up on it with this antenna and, thing, and you're getting messages in the day and the night. Okay. So pay attention to signs, synchronicities, nudges, knowings, inklings. You know, you can get messages through uh, movies that you're watching, through the radio, to television, 
focus, um, you need to put yourself out there because even conversations that you might have with people, you might start seeing these messages coming through for you. Okay. And then with the seven of spears, we have treasured memories, another card that we've been getting. Okay. So with this card, normally in the tarot, there is a, um, I think this is like, so it's not, I'm not getting the same messages that I've been getting from the other ones with this card with you, for you, Libra, you're getting it with a seven of pen of sub spears here. And I'm going to say that whatever it is that you're working on and you're trying to align with, you're going to be making a lot of treasured memories moving forward with whatever it is that you're doing. You're moving in the right direction. So keep going because you're going to be in alignment and you're going to be making happy memories. Like, look at this guy. He's happy. He's content. He is just elated. He is satiated and he has enjoyed some wine. Okay. So whatever it is that you're working on, you're being, you're living, you're leading uh, with intention with everything that you do. This is a making you an alignment. You're receiving blessings from the universe. You're being asked to pay attention to signs and symbols that the universe is trying to communicate with you. Uh, you're, and you're being asked to keep going and persevere through whatever it is that you're working on because it's going to be leading to happy memories. Okay, so let's end off with a uh, animal oracle deck uh, card and then uh, we will stop there. Okay, so we have giraffe. I hope that reading was okay. I feel like I was kind of boring, but <laughs> let me know. Okay, uh, giraffe, giraffe, giraffe. All right, what a beautiful card. Rise above earthly matters. G glide gently, uh, no, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Gentleness, grace, beauty, charm, high perspective, vision, foresight, perception, mother's love, and intuition. So he's like, so the giraffes are tall, right? And so, like I said, with the hierophant, he is the intermediary between the gods and the earth. And, you know, this is the, the, the giraffe's head goes straight up into heaven. And he has antenna here too, just like the girl. Very cool. All right. We're picking up on things here. Giraffe are the tallest land mammals. They tower far above all others and stride with grace across the savannah. Their long, slender necks lift their sight so they can see life from a greater perspective. Giraffe, uh, giraffe, people often appear, a giraffe often appears when we need to be reminded just how grand we are and that we have the potential to rise above any challenge with grace, right? So we're rising above any challenge with grace and we're persevering through any battles that we are going through right now, okay? Uh, giraffe people are encouraged to stretch themselves as far as they can go. If giraffe is your totem, you are a natural visionary with a keen perception. You can see things that are coming long before others can. So you're tapping into your psychic abilities, your clairvoyance, your clairsentience, your clairaudience. Okay. Giraffe people can have strong bonds with their family and friends. Because giraffe mothers share a special protective love with their offspring, this is a meaningful totem for children and mothers. Giraffe is very giving and often needs to set boundaries to avoid being misused. A unique giraffe trait is just how little sleep and water they need to maintain themselves and their lives. This characteristic signifies their conservative use of resources. Giraffes have amazing stamina and are patient, silent, and wise. Giraffe is an elegant power animal that bestows on you the gifts of friendship, grace, vision, and charm. So some things to keep in mind are, did you stick your neck out too far? Have you lost your balance, Libra? Do you need a higher perspective on a tough situation? Do you need to pull yourself first and get more sleep and water? And reach for the truth from a greater perspective. All right. So definitely looking forward to seeing what's going to be in store for you for this month, Libra. If you like this reading, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that's something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know uh, when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on for you this week, not only check out your sun, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I'm truly grateful for the energy you brought here today, and thank you for watching my video. I will see you next time.